Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on being grateful. Grateful, feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness, thankful, an appreciative attitude for what one has received. It can mean expressing gratitude or feeling pleasure or contentment. I will read the Amplified Version of Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle, special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed, by the will of God, that is, by his purpose and choice, to the saints, God's people, who are at Ephesus and are faithful and loyal and steadfast in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace, inner calm and spiritual well-being. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, blessed and worthy of praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ, just as in his love he chose us in Christ, actually selected us for himself as his own, before the foundation of the world, so that we would be holy, that is, consecrated, set apart for him, purpose-driven, and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself as his own children, through Jesus Christ, in accordance with the kind intention and good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace and favor, which he so freely bestowed on us in the Beloved, his Son, Jesus Christ. In Him we have redemption, that is, our deliverance, and salvation through His blood, which paid the penalty for our sin, and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sin, in accordance with the riches of His grace, which He lavished on us in all wisdom and understanding, with practical insight. He made known to us the mystery of His will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ, with regard to the fulfillment of the times, that is, the end of history, the climax of the ages, to bring all things together in Christ, both things in the heavens and things on the earth. In him also we have received an inheritance, a destiny. We were claimed by God at his, as his own, having been predestined, chosen, appointed beforehand, according to the purpose of him who works everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his will, so that we who are, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ, who first put our confidence in him as our Lord and Savior, would exist to the praise of his glory. In him you also when you heard the word of truth, the good news of your salvation, and as a result, believed in him, or stamped with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit, the one promised by Christ, as owned and protected by God. The Spirit is the guarantee, the first installment, the pledge, a foretaste of our inheritance until the redemption of God's own purchased possession, his believers, to the praise of his glory. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I always pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may grant you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation that gives you a deep and personal an intimate insight into the true knowledge of him. For we know the Father through the Son. And I pray that the eyes of your heart, the very center and core of your being, may be enlightened, flooded with light by the Holy Spirit, so that you will know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, the confident expectation to which he was called, to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, God's people, and so that you will begin to know what the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness 
of his active spiritual power is in us who believe. This, these are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength, which he produced in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, whether angelic or human, and far above every name that is named, above every title that can be conferred, not only in this age and world, but also in the one to come. And he put all things in every realm in subjection under Christ's feet and appointed him as supreme and authoritative head over all things in the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills and completes all things in all believers. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.